This is a construction update for the week of September 23rd, brought to you by City of Somerville and read by Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects Beacon Street Reconstruction During the week of September 23rd, for an estimated one to two days, Beacon Street is expected to close from Sacramento Street to Oxford Street during the off-peak hours while contractors raise cast iron structure within the roadway before paving. Weather permitting, mass dot contractors expect to begin installing a high friction surface treatment in on-street bike lanes between Washington Street and the Cambridge Line, starting on or around Tuesday, September 24th. Requiring parking restrictions. There is an odor to the material that may be noticeable in the area. Isolated sidewalk repairs will continue over the next several weeks. Weather permitting, contractors plan to finish paving Beacon Street from Sacramento Street to Oxford Street on September 28th on Saturday between approximately 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. The road will be closed during work hours with on-street parking restrictions. Sidewalks are expected to remain open. Cyclists are advised to continue using the bike detour during construction. Green Line Extension. Construction continues throughout the rail corridor, including placing structural steel at the Washington Street Bridge, drainage work, and installing lagging from Gilman Square to Rogersville, working on foundations, walls, and utilities at Ball Square, and installing steel at a new viaduct in the inner belt area. More detailed information about upcoming and ongoing work throughout the GLX alignment can be found on the bi-weekly construction updates from MassDOT. Frequent overnight and weekend work is expected to continue throughout the end of the year. If you need assistance for GLX construction related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Don't forget about the food, beer, live, music, and activities that await you at the second annual Ball Square Festival on Sunday, September 22nd, and the Gilman Square Block Party on Saturday, September 28th. And hot off the presses, get on the new loyalty card program in Ball Square and Morgan Square. Visit a participating business to pick up a card and reward yourself for shopping local. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation. Concrete placement has been completed. Custom railings have been ordered and are being fabricated, which is projected to take four to six weeks. Once the order has been fulfilled, the railings will be installed and the underpass will be reopened. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements. During the week of September 23rd, contractors will continue installing the box culvert drainage infrastructure on Somerville Ave, just east of Prospect Street. Crews will excavate pits on Merriam Street to begin connecting individual property waters services to the water main. Eversource contractors may be on Somerville Ave between Webster Ave and Prospect Street, relocating underground cable. For maps and more information about current detours, please see the detour tabs of the project website or the MBTA website for service advisories. Amid the construction, the annual Fluff Festival triumphantly returns to Union Square. Join the festivities and support some local businesses September 21st, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Somerville High School Building Project. At the Western Wing, contractors continue framing exterior walls and installing sheathing to construct the building's facade. Weather permitting, another large concrete placement is planned at the Western Wing for Wednesday, September 25th. Work may need to begin prior to 7 a.m. Abutters will be notified accordingly through the city's alert system. At the new theater, abatement and selective demo continue. Steel is expected to start going up there in early October. At the Eastern Wing, crews continue to form and place concrete for foundation walls. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades During the week of September 23rd, crews plan to continue work on Washington Street between Line Street and Hawkins Street, installing new water valves with excavated pits. Lane shifts may be required. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Program Sidewalk reconstruction will be done on Medford Street from Partridge Ave to School Street. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Additional utility work. Utility work will be done at West Branch Library Renovation. Construction will take place on College Ave between Park Ave and Chapel Street. Utility installation planned throughout September. 
two-way traffic is expected to be maintained. There will also be construction being done by Eversource Gas on Brostow Ave, Dearborn Road, Pearson Road, Prescott Street. National Grid will also be doing construction on Stickney Ave, Washington Street from Crescent Street to Franklin Street. This has been a construction update for the week of September 23rd, provided to you by City of Somerville and read to you by the Somerville Media Center.